What's up guys, it's Joe and I'm bringing you another commentary about how to make non-ML Magic Bolt looks, color corrections, MBL. So, um, <clears throat> what you're going to want is your clip and I mean, might as well delete these now. So, here's a clip that I have. Um, I'll try to post the link in the description if I remember, but uh, it's a feed. And yeah, that's all we need to know. Um, let's take a look at the settings for it. 59.94, everything is fine. So we can continue to edit. So to add color correction, let's go to layer adjustment layer. Um, when you make adjustment layers, I believe that it makes faster rendering, time, rendering times because it, what it does is adds a clear layer on top of your clip and it's like clear. So you can throw in any color correction you want and it'll have the same effect. You just have another layer. It looks looks cool when you show your friends and say, hey, look how many layers I have and stuff like that. So whatever. First thing that you're gonna need is curves. Color correction curves. I'm just gonna drag it on. So um let me go over this real quick before we start. Um there are three main parts to the curves. Well, other than these, there are your shadows. Goes up and down. We're gonna bring it down. Um, I can't really tell how much we need to bring it down because we need to adjust that first. Or that's what I usually do. I adjust our highlights first, which is right here. Highlights are very top. And so what we're doing is we're adding brightness and contrast to the clip, and these are mid tones. Um, I don't really like to adjust that with that too much. And now let's go to red. I want to have a kind of red. Like, I want the clip to be reddish, so I'm going to put this at zero and make the shadows bigger. And shadows are shadows, are the darks, midtones, and you have the highlights, which is really bright. Green, I'm just going to kind of make this the not too much. And then blue, I'm going to, yeah, so I'm basically not going to mess with green. And since there is a lot of blue in this clip, I'm going to bring up the highlights and I'm going to bring down the uh, shadows. So we're left with this and if we click the FX, it takes it away. And I say that's a pretty good color correction to start off with. And now I'm going to add in levels. Now this helps you exaggerate your um, the color correction and your bright... Not the color correction, your brightness and contrast. So um, uh, I'm going to go over this real quick. Um, this is your black and white bar. You drag this over, and it'll obviously make it black or make it darker. If you drag this over, it doesn't really make it as much of an exaggerated um, brightness ish because you're bringing this over here. If that makes sense, I'm sorry. I'm kind of really bad at explaining levels. But if you drag this over, um, it makes the brights brighter. And then if we drag this down, it makes the darks darker. Although I'm not really gonna do that. Maybe a little. And then I'm just going to toy around to like the settings. I think that looks good. Now we can click effects again. I like the change. But I think we're missing something. I think we're missing a glow. And I'm going to add a new adjustment layer for this because I'm going to teach you a little trick. Take that adjustment layer, drag it in between your first adjustment layer in the clip, and look up. Glow, and since I have a bunch of third party plugins, I'm going to bring in the one that you guys have, which is under Stylize, Stylize Glow. And then this is what happens, and we probably don't want this. So, what we're going to do real quick is I'm going to take a mask, I'm going to kind of mask a depth of field. That wasn't a very good keyframe, neither was that one. And then you just go up. And so it'll make that make it look like that, except that looks awful. So if we take a look, it doesn't look very professional at all. So we need to go into our mask, mask one, bring the feathering up a ton, uh, like 300 at least. And then that'll happen. It still doesn't really look that good, but we can probably just stoof in here. So I don't want to have that much threshold, so I'm going to bring the threshold up. And what I like to remember threshold by is, you see what it's doing when I bring it down? It's making it go all crazy. So I like to keep it 
I like to hold back, you could say, on the threshold. Kind of like I'm a monomic. So let's add a radius. Radius is the amount of glow, like how much it'll come out. So, um, I mean, if you can see in the sky, there's kind of a radius. I don't want to add too much, though. So I'm going to go to like 20. And I hope you can't hear that, by the way. Glow intensity, it's how intense the glow is. You don't really need to mess with that too much. I'll probably put that at like 0 0.5, 0 0.7. Um, you want this to be on behind glow operation add or normal. You want no, you want add to make it kind of pop out screen to make it like that. Um, add makes it shine more, but if you want to play around with the threshold, I mean it doesn't really make a difference. Um, try to put that back. Um, I kind of want to make it a little more clean and professional, so I'm going to keep it at normal or not normal screen. Don't mess with these. Um, here's what AB does. Basically takes it away and makes the colors A and B. Arbitrary map makes it, well you can't see it now and I'm not going to show you because it doesn't really look too good. A and B midpoint, I have no idea what that is. I'm toying with it and it's not really doing anything so I'm going to keep it back at 50. Glow dimensions, don't mess with that. Because that's what will happen. It will kind of make it like horizontal, vertical, like as in the dimensions will go up or side to side which I don't like. I mean, if I want to change that, I can just add in a blur. So that's what we get. Uh, we get this kind of coolish thingy. Now, another thing that we can add real quick is um, gamma. Uh, whoa. Uh, gamma pedestal game. And drag it onto the top. Now, what we can do, I'm going to the black stretch. You can play around with it with yourself, but this is what it does. I'm going to bring it at 1.5 because I think that looks kind of cool. Actually, 1.5. And uh, since I want the reds to come out a little bit more, I'm going to put the gamma at 1.3 if it'll let me. There we go. But as still, we don't really want too much of that. I'll go negative 0.1. I'll. Keep this. I put the gain at 1.1. The green I don't want to mess with other than the gain. I want to bring up the gain a little. 1.2. Uh, the gamma for the blues we can kind of bring up, but I don't want to bring it up too much. Actually, we can bring it up because what we can do is we can always go back into here, go back to the red, and we can exaggerate it more. So the gain, I'm going to kind of bring this down, and since our green gain is kind of showing up now, um, 0.9-ish, and but it's still, I'm just going to keep that at normal. Not the very best color correction, I have to say. It's too much red, so I'm going to go in here and I'm going to bring kind of tone the reds down. So here's what we have. And if we click the eyeballs, we went from that to this. And I'd say that that's a pretty big difference. And with some quality editing, like mine, I'm just kidding, um, we can make this into a pretty good edit. So, I mean, if you want to add anything else, I'll show you the effects, color correction, change color, change to color, channel mixer, which is actually kind of helpful red to red, you can change the red to blue channel. I'm not gonna mess with that though. I'm just showing you that's kinda cool. Oh, there's a tint, I'm not gonna mess with that because it tints it to one color. There's hue and saturation, which is pretty cool. I'm actually gonna bring that to saturation. And I wanna change the color range to a red. Oh my god, but anyways, that's that looks pretty cool now, doesn't it? Um, where is, that looks a little better. I did not mean to adjust that one, I meant to adjust this one. So I'm going to bring that at like negative 10. Kind of a difference, it brings down the saturation, and I 
felt like I changed the reds a little. It became a little darker of a red because the reds are um, less saturated and I think I'm running out of time. I don't know because I forgot to start my timer because I'm an idiot. Well, anyways, um, I don't want to hog all of your time. I want to make this kind of short and sweet video. If it's short, I can't. I don't know when I started. But this is how you add color corrections. Remember to use adjustment layers because adjustment layers are better and it makes a, fa a little bit faster render time. Uh, and yeah, that looks really cool. His hand. I'm gonna bring that to full. Oh my god, it's awesome. It's like sex in a video game. Grand Theft Auto. No, I'm kidding. Okay, so this is my color correction tool for non magic boat looks. Um, you might like the match. You might like the color correction. You might like, like, might not like it. You might like it. What I was trying to make is I was trying to bring out some reds and a very blue map, and I wanted to add some glow to the sky. I mean, doesn't that not look sick when it's in full resolution? I mean, add some Twixter and some blurs, and that would look sick. Okay, I'm getting off topic. So I hope you enjoyed the video, um, and I will try to bring a Magic Bullet Looks one soon. That's your tutorial for the day, guys, and I hope you enjoyed it. Bye-bye.